And basically, in today's video, guys, I'm going to be telling you guys how I passed my driving test, UK 2018, first time with no minors. <laughs> Hey guys, today I'm going to make a brand new video and for today's video guys, I am actually in my mum's car I am actually in my mum's car again, but this time I have passed my test first time with no minors And basically in today's video guys, I'm going to be telling you guys how I passed my driving test UK 2018 first time with no minors. So I'm gonna be basically telling you a story time basically a story time of everything that happened in the test, all the maneuvers I did, uh, what my nerves were like, uh, the lesson before the test, everything. So as you guys can see, I've got my pass certificate here. Um, it's a bit bright, so you can't see it that well. However, I also got, let me turn on that. I also got no minors, as you guys can probably see. So yeah, guys, this isn't going to be a very entertaining video if you don't like talking videos because literally all I'm going to be doing in this video is talking and I can't move the camera because the camera is balancing on a f aircon what the f and also I've got a GoPro you know just you know if you're watching this video then maybe like it will kind of I don't know entertain you I guess I don't fucking know okay so before we actually get into the story time if you guys are new here then please hit the subscribe button I'm currently looking for cars right now so I can do some driving videos I'm going to be picking up some old grannies in this car and yeah, subscribe for more driving videos if you want a driving exam tip video for all the tips that I want For all the tips that I probably wanted to know before the test Then I will do that video for you guys get this video to 20 likes and I'll do it And also guys go follow me on Instagram at the underscore other stuff for more behind the scenes um, If I get a new car, I'm gonna post it there first. So yeah, and also and lastly guys if you guys are doing a driving test um, soon or driving lessons comment what stage you are at driving okay so getting into the test my test was at 908 a.m which meant i had to have which means i had to wake up pretty early to have an hour lesson before the test so i woke up at about seven you know i vlogged the whole day basically so you guys can see that on my last video so i woke up at seven you know got my provisional license ready um and then and then at eight AM, I got picked up by my instructor and we basically drove to the t uh, town where I'm going to be taking the test and Which was Banbury. So in that lesson when I got in the car first at 8, I was I was nervous like It wasn't it wasn't like I'm shiting myself for this test. It was more like, you know, I know I've got a test coming up uh, I'm kind of a little bit nervous just like anything but yeah So driving driving to the town was quite it was generally quite nerve-wracking It's just a straight road, but like my hands were a bit clammy, like, you know, clammy, you know, that's a bit gross, isn't it? That is really gross, actually. So, yeah, my hands were a bit clammy. Um, w wasn't feeling 100%. Um, but on the way, on the drive to uh, the town, it was fine. Um, I took it very easy. I didn't floor it or anything. So, once we actually got into the town where I was taking a test, I actually felt very, very confident. I was literally driving with one hand on the steering wheel like this. Um, like one hand on the bottom of the steering wheel, like touching my crotch. It was the nicest drive of my life, honestly. Um, so in that lesson, we actually did. So basically, there's a three lane roundabout in my town, and it's the biggest roundabout, I think. Um, so it's three lanes, and I always had trouble with it. Uh, we did that. We did that roundabout three times from each direction. I did those all perfectly. I wasn't nervous. So basically, I was fine with that roundabout. It was just like. That was one of the roundabouts that I was, like, so scared about for the first, like, 15, maybe 10 lessons that I had driving. So, yeah, we did that roundabout, like, three times, which is going to come in handy when I tell you guys something in the future. Um, so, in that lesson, we did a parallel park. A parallel park was pretty damn sick. Like, genuinely, like, I told you guys, I was really confident. So, like, um, I put it into first gear. Probably shouldn't be doing this when the car's off. But, like, um, got the biting point, you know, did all my checks. Then went. It was a hill start, clutch, like no no accelerator needed. So then I went on the right side of the road and reversed like two car lengths. That was simple. Then I did a bay park. Was that what was that like? I honestly can't remember what the bay park was like, but um we did two bay parks. The second bay park we did on that lesson, uh, the driving instructor told me to get out of the car basically. He was just like, get out. But we were it was actually like that lesson went by so fast up towards the less up towards the test that um he told me to get out um 
he drove to the test center which was like a two minute like drive just so that um any any lessons any tests that were going on then he could just like not hit them basically the driving instructor drove me into the um dr driving test center he turned the car around uh parked up and and you know the best feeling in the world when a driving instructor has been criticizing your driving for the past year and you get to see them drive for 20 minutes or for two minutes literally i was like at his gear changes i was like nice gear change they were proper nice as well just saying. So yeah, we got into the test center. We got out of the car. He showed me how to open the bonnet and where all the stuff was. I knew that because I revised uh, the day before. Uh, my driving instructor walked me into the waiting room, and we were just joking. He was basically joking around. I got. I gave him in my. I gave my instructor my provisional license, and he said I looked twelve. Like, come on, bro. This is where somebody else walked in, and this guy looked nervous as f Like Jenny, this is where like my confidence. Like shot up because Jenny, I saw how nervous this guy was for the test compared to me where I was just chilling. A few minutes later, a few minutes later, the driving instructors came in, the examiners came in and they said, um, one called the guy up and one called me up. However, this is the scary bit. When I saw them walk in, one had a sat nav and one didn't. So I, I've always been learning with a sat nav and I've never really learned road signs. So Reading road signs on the test would have put my like concentration down so much, so I did not want that. The driving examiner called me up and he said, um, provisional license, and he basically said, he called me the one and the only Michael. What? Mate, everybody knows I'm a god here. Like, come on. So yeah, the driving, instructor, the driving examiner asked me if I wanted the uh, instructor cup to come with me, and I said, uh, no, he can, have, he can have dinner. He can have um, dinner while I'm out. Um, and yeah, they were they were joking about like ha having it on me, like me pay for paying for it. But like, f that I'm paying you enough as it is. He took us out of the test center, and he looked at he pointed a a number plate across the street, and I was genuinely like nervous about reading number plates because my eyesight is quite bad. Like my right eye, completely blurry. Like my left eye's perfect, my right eye's not. So I read that perfectly. Then he um, basically just said, "Go get in your car and get comfortable." I sat in the car, he walked around the car, basically checking the car, making sure it's uh, good to drive. Then he wrote down the instructor's number and stuff like that. And I was chilling. Literally, I was I was literally just sitting there like, I was drinking my Aid. So yeah, he put the sat nav up on the thing and he basically, this guy was an asshole, like genuine. He wasn't an asshole to me. He was just kind of like a bit depressed and like, just didn't seem like he liked his job. And I'll get into that more later. So we got into the car and he, um, he put the sat nav down and I was like, is that a special sat nav? Because, you know, I'm trying to make conversation here. I'm trying not to get failed. And he said, oh, it's far from special. Um, you're going to have a woman shouting down at you. And I was like, hey, this guy is sexist. Like, or like, not even sexist. Like, you know what I mean? So he said, when you're ready, turn on the car. Turn on the car. Um, yeah, and I started to go forward. This test center is very hard to get out of because it's like, I can't really explain it to be fair. It's just, it's hard to get out of. It's a small test center and the junction uh, going out of it is quite hard as well. I pulled off. So first gear, clutch down. Literally, I, in this test center, you didn't even need to use, um, you didn't even have to bring your clutch up because it was like that tight. So I went down, down this little, down this little bit. And then an alarm went off basically in the car. An alarm went off. So I was checking my handbrake, right? My, because basically, when your handbrake isn't down pr all the way, an alarm goes off. So I checked my handbrake. I thought that was already a minor, and I was like, "God damn, how have I picked up a minor already?" But it was actually my door. My door wasn't. I'm, I'm, my door wasn't closed. This is where I honestly thought I failed because um, I put the clutch down, brake. Oh, here's my mum. Hi, mum. So yeah. I put the clutch down, um, braked, well, the clutch was already down, braked, and then I didn't even put the handbrake up or anything, put it in neutral, and I think that is when, when I thought I failed. So I opened the door while, while my foot was on the clutch and brake, and just went, just went like that, basically. But to my amazement, he didn't even write anything down. Like, Jenny, I think that if I had a more, more strict examiner, that would have been a minor, or at least something. Because I didn't even check whether to see if somebody was coming. It's like, it's not, nobody would come that way, but yeah. Uh, we went down to the junction. You had to check right to, to look up this road. And then um, there was the road here. So there was a road here. This is where we were. And then there was a road going up there. 
like a vet or something. So we came down to the junction. Very hard junction to pull out of because cars are zooming up and down. Um, so at this point, the sat nav was telling me to turn right and then go straight ahead at the roundabout. So, um, yeah, something that I, di I, I was proud of myself for wasn't rushing because, like, straight away, like, I could have pulled out in front of someone and, like, I could have killed someone, basically. I could have pulled out in front of someone and killed someone. See, luckily, I didn't, right? So, yeah, I turned right at this junction. Luckily, not killing anybody. Um, there's pedestrian cross crossings all over the roundabout, so you've got to make sure you, um, you actually look... See, so I proper like in the test, you proper need to make sure you break your fucking neck. Literally, I was doing this, so I was I was coming up to the roundabout and I was going like, well, coming up to pedestrian crossing, I was going, and I was basically nodding at the guy, basically going, yeah, I checked that bitch. So I was just making sure that he knew personally that I was checking my mirrors and. Shit. So we went straight ahead at this um, roundabout and uh, where do we go? We turned right up this one-way road. So we went up this one-way road, turned left, and he told me to pull up on the left within one car length um, away from the car. And this was an angle start, so this is where you have to, you know, you're quite close to the car in front, so you need to turn the wheel, You your vision's blind, so uh, I was checking, you know, pulling out slowly. I was watching videos on this um, the day before, so I was making sure that I was proper looking, and then I, yeah, pulled out perfectly. We drove down to this thing, we turned left at this main road, and then this is where I started to try and make conversation with this guy because I was like, so how long have you been an, an examiner for? And he said, too long, bro. He didn't say too long, bro. He said too long. Um, he said, somebody's got to do it. Um, he seemed so depressed, like genuinely. So then what he wanted me to do is pull into this very f***ing narrow car park. Like, what the f*** are you doing? I'm a learner. I should not be able to fit through this gap. It was literally the size of a fucking thigh gap. It was like this. So I had to put it in first gear on the main road. Um, proper like fucking steer my wheel into this really narrow uh, bay park. Yeah, car park. Told me to put put into a bay on the left or right. I don't know. He didn't really make it obvious. So I pulled in on the left before I even stopped the fucking car. He said, "Yep, that's good. You can pull off now." And he, t mate, this driving instructor, this driving instructor, this driving examiner was very nice. Like, blessing to have this guy, but. If you've been practicing for over nine months on a bay park, proper making sure it's perfect, y you better f wait until I stop the bloody car. So yeah, he didn't even care if I was in the lines, I bet you. I bet you I was a little bit off the lines, I don't know. So yeah, he t so with the driving um, exam, you're not meant to really tell the people where to go or anything. He told me to pull, uh, go left, um, then go this way, this way, because um, it was a one way. Luckily, I was smiling at this point because I've got the best examiner ever. He's telling me where to go. But exited the car park. I'm actually running low on battery, so um, I might have to speed this up. So we exited the thing, turned left. Um, and this is, th there was three lanes. There was one turn left, one in the middle, going straight ahead, and one turn right. I was kind of a little bit confused at which lane to go in. Because there was two lanes pointing forward. Well, three lanes pointing forward. The left lane was actually going left. Basically, it was just saying that the lane split, basically. So he told me, just go in the middle lane for this. Uh, and yeah, um, so we stopped at the traffic light. Well, we went through the traffic lights and I, he said, what would you be doing today then, Michael? And I said, sleeping. And he said, uh, that's a student talking right there. Like he laughed, at, he laughed a bit. So we got him to giggle a little bit. At this point, I asked him the, um, a question. I said, it must be scary being a driving instructor. And he said, it's terrifying. <laughs> Literally, he didn't really talk much. Uh, I just, for the rest of the drive, I, was, I wasn't really talking to him. Okay, so basically, this is where, so basically, for the whole of that little first bit, which is like probably like 10 minutes, maybe, uh, I was driving about 30 miles per hour, the speed limit, basically, in that area. This is where the first road that kind of opened up a little bit uh, was. So I, I turned right at this roundabout and went straight up this 50 mile per hour road. So this is where I was just like, you know what? I'm going to keep the speed limit. I'm going to rev the absolute shit out of this car so basically first gear second gear third gear literally blasting up this thing probably made the guy feel a little bit stressed out but i slowed down way before the um roundabout which was quite a big roundabout so i proper went um first gear uh went left of this roundabout and this was a, a dual carriageway a little a short dual carriageway basically we came up to a um big round the big roundabout that i did three times in my lesson so I had to get into the right-hand lane, so I did this, checked all my mirrors, and th then did this. 
t put my right signal on uh, to go right at the roundabout, and then I had to stop and then go. So this is where it gets pretty damn easy for me because genuinely, this got me so happy. At this point, I was smiling to myself. Let me quickly just say, if you have got to this point in the video, comment orange and I'll subscribe to you because you deserve it. You're listening to me, I guess. So we went right at this roundabout and this, like, this is the way I go home every every day after a driving lesson, every week after a driving lesson. This is the way I go home and this is the way I go come into Banbury. We turned right, straight road, literally straight road until we got to this other roundabout and we went straight ahead at this other roundabout. This was still going on sat nav. This is the way I went home. Main road, going home basically. Then he told, then the sat nav told me to turn left on this country road. I did approach this junction quite fast because I didn't know where it was. But yeah, eventually I did stop. Um, and the driving instructor, this was a country, country lane and it had a lot of potholes. So he, he said, you can go extra slow here because of the potholes. And I was like, sure, why not? So I went about 40 down a 60 miles per hour road. He didn't care. To be fair, maybe I was going about 50 miles per hour down a road. In reality, if he didn't tell me to, if he didn't tell me to slow down, I would went, would have went the speed limit. So I tried to make a bit more conversation here by by saying I've watched videos of people tires getting popped by potholes. Didn't really listen, to be honest. So we went through this country road. Uh, he told me to pull up on the left again, out just outside um, a village. Um, I did. This is where we got back to a junction, which led us to the main road back to the ta town. So we went left at this round, left at this junction, and I saw, I basically, I saw that there was a lorry coming towards me, and this was a 60 miles per hour road. I didn't know that it was. I was like, you know what, I can take this. So basically, again, once again, I pulled out, giggity, pulled out of the junction. I didn't realize it was 60 miles per hour, so the uh, lorry caught, caught to me pretty fast. So I went first gear, second gear, and I revved the absolute shit out of the engine again. Literally, I was loving life at this point. I was like, I passed 100%. So then it came up to a 40 miles per hour zone. And this is another way I've entered the town. So this is another way I've entered the town where I um, basically do my test. Well, actually, so by this point, the sat nav was off and he was just giving my, me direction. So he said straight ahead at this roundabout, went straight ahead. This is how I e enter Banbury. Straight ahead, straight ahead at the next one. And then follow a 30 miles per hour road. And then there was two mini roundabouts like this. And they're both joined so this is a little bit tricky however this is genuinely if i wouldn't have entered banbury the way i did every day every lesson i wouldn't be able to do this because to go straight ahead you have to go in the right lane instead of the left lane normally perfectly did that then he said turn right into this little village and then this way he told me to pull up on the left oh f i pulled up on the left put it in um put it in neutral handbrake up and then yeah so this is where he told me you're doing an emergency stop, and I have, I have not done an emergency stop in about three months, maybe, of driving, which is terrifying. Like, okay, so yeah, he told me to pull off. Um, he was gonna do the checks for me to make sure it's fine. Then he told me to. He said stop. I stopped. So basically, I put the brake down about this, which I could have put it down this. So I put the brake down. Then I put it down a lot harder, and then I put the clutch down. And then I put it in neutral, handbrake up. And the guy, literally, as soon as I hit that brake, he was like, okay, that's good. I'm not going to be asking you to do that maneuver again. Like, bitch, he's proper rushing me at this point. Like, this is where some people fail, I'm pretty sure. So at this point, once you stop the car, put it in neutral and put the handbrake up, you need to do your checks again. So you need to do all this. And I did, luckily, because he was actually pressure me quite a bit to be honest drove through this little lit, uh, 30 miles per hour village um okay yeah and basically guys and basically guys so after this th after this 30 mile per hour road we turn left down this little hill basically and this is where we came up to a roundabout where he said turn left this was the roundabout which turned back into the driving test center and i was like there's no way this is the end of the test and this way we came up to the test junction and he said um go very slow here into the test center and i was like that was the shortest drive i've ever had in my life that was a 35 minute drive so i put clutch down first gear and just pulled into he literally just said pull in anywhere you want doesn't matter if it's a bay or not so i pulled in and just parked up in like in the middle of the test center basically 
So after the emergency stop, I thought I failed. Basically, I saw him writing something down, and this is a tip, which I'm gonna put in my tip video if I do one. Do not care about what he's writing because genuinely, like, this is where I thought I failed. I thought I didn't press the brake hard enough or didn't do check or something. I don't know. But yeah, we basically sat in the car. He didn't even ask me if I wanted the instructor to um, be in the car with me to listen to the um, what he had to say. And this is where he said, congratulations, Michael, you've passed. Um, yeah, and that's it, basically. And that's it, basically. He said, um, he, he just said, you've, j you've passed. And he didn't say anything about minors or anything. Literally, he didn't even tell me. He didn't even tell me what I got. He just said, congratulations, you've passed. Filled out the paper and gave it to me and left. Um, my driving instructor was outside the car and he looked at the certificate and he was smiling his ass off. I've never seen someone who's so happy in my life for me. And it's like, this driving instructor was the most amazing guy ever. He gave me the pass certificate and I, uh, he gave me the sheet, which is this sheet, uh, the driving test sheet. He didn't tell me whether I got minors or something. I looked at the sheet. Well, I gave, my driving instructor got in the car, um, and I gave him the sheet and he was like, you've got no minors. And I was like, what? And he said, yeah, you've got no minors. Um, and I was like, oh, really? I, I, w I was kind of more in shock that he, um, he passed me, to be honest. He said, I've got no minors. And that's his fourth uh, clean sheet in 12 months, which is pretty good because he does like 30, 30 exams or something. So my driving instructor was the cutest he's ever been. Like, this, it sounds like I'm gay or something, but I'm genuinely not. Like, I've never felt so, like, touched in my life. He didn't touch me or anything, don't worry. But, like, he was genuinely, like, I'm so proud of you. Like, and, yeah, so for the drive home, I was basically criticising my driving instructor's driving. Basically saying, oh, nice gear change and stuff. So, that's the, that you've got to take advantage of that little, kind of, like, you spend all these hours with this driving instructor, him criticising your driving, but, yeah. So, yeah, guys, that is actually my whole story time. I've been talking for 30, 30 maybe 40 minutes. So, I don't know how long this video is going to be. If you've got to the end of this video, then comment ESP. And I'll genuinely subscribe to your channel, check out your videos. Because I think you deserve it if you got to this point. My throat is killing right now. So, yeah, guys, that is how I passed my driving test first time. Um, to be honest, I did take nine months to pass but yeah so yeah guys unfortunately that is the end of this video hopefully you guys did enjoy if you have got to the end of this video again like comment esp um and if you are taking your driving test or driving lessons uh soon comment them down below because i want to know and i want to help you guys i guess subscribe if you are new because i will be buying a car soon hopefully we'll be doing driving videos um hopefully um i wish i was insured on this car so i could just skirt off right now thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you guys um, enjoyed this video. If you did, smash a like on this video. Thank you.